Hey there, welcome to the video. Now, if you've been interested in making money online and have run across my channel, then you know that it's entirely possible to make money creating simple books on Amazon KDP. And the fact is, is that the interest in this business is continuing to increase as the time goes on, as it should, because everyday people are starting to see the massive benefits of self-publishing books online. The low cost to start, the high profits, the freedom to work from home or anywhere in the world, and the fact that you don't have to print your books, you don't have to ship your books, you don't have to deal with the customer service, and Amazon will actually do the selling for you. This makes it a no-brainer business to get into, especially for beginners with no experience in the make money online space. However, many beginners face a common challenge, and that is finding out what to sell, is it even gonna work, and where to begin. But you're in luck because today I've actually done all the research for you. And so I'm gonna show you three KDP niches with low competition and high demand that you can start selling right now. So if you're a beginner looking to make an income online and start a side hustle, or you're just looking to get into a new niche, well, then this video is for you. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff. And this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, when I'm looking into these niches, I look for three specific things. Number one, I'm looking for search results that have about a thousand or less because this is gonna tell me that the competition is not so high. Number two, I'm looking for three KDP books that all have a BSR or a bestsellers rank of 300,000 or below because this is gonna tell me that the books are already selling, which means that there is some type of demand in this niche. And then number three, I'm looking for a niche score that's provided by the plugin that I'm using that has a score of 50 and higher. Now the first niche is the Spot the Difference book for seniors. And the very first thing that you're gonna see is this purple bar that you see on my screen. And this is called Titans Quick View. It comes from self-publishing Titans. And so if you go to the Chrome web store and you make a search for self-publishing Titans, you're gonna find these two extensions right here. Feel free to install these. These are free to use, and it's gonna help you with your niche research. And you'll be able to see the same information that I'm seeing on my screen, which is especially useful because it does provide a niche score, which this is the one that I take into consideration right here. But the very first thing that I look at is always gonna be the search results. And right here, we're seeing 263 search results, which is well below the 1,000 that I'm looking for. So this is why this is part of the niche today is because we can see that it has a very low competition. And so the second part is to go through this first page of Amazon to see if there are three books that have a BSR of 300,000 or below. So we can see what type of demand there is for this niche. So the first book that I see is right here. As you can see under publisher, it says independently published, which is telling me this is a KDP book and it has a bestsellers rank of 335,000. So that's a little bit above the 300,000 that I'm looking for, but I know that these rankings fluctuate a couple times a day. So this is something that is going to be based off of your personal preference. So if you see a bestsellers rank in the 300,000s and it's okay with you, then by all means go for it. So let's go look for the next book. We see this book right here, independently published, has a bestsellers rank of 76,000. So this is one of the books that's doing well right here. Let's look for another book. We have this book right here, ranking in at 182,000. So that's a good sign. And we have these two books right here, ranking in at 118,000 and 130,000. So that's well over three books that we have that all rank at about 300,000 or below. So I know that there is demand for this niche. And when we scroll up, we can see that the niche score is 65. So that's well above the 50 that I'm looking for. So this is the reason why I included this niche in this list today. So if we go ahead and take a look at one of these books to take a deeper look into this niche, let's go ahead and take a look at this book right here. This is Spot the Difference book for seniors with animals. We can see it has a 4.4 out of five review, about five ratings right now. And it's priced at $8.45 sense and so here is the cover 
And if we go and look at one of the interiors, we can see that on the back cover, there are three pages of the interior right here. So this type of interior you could make yourself, but if you want something a little bit easier, you could easily go to Creative Fabrica and make a search for a spot to difference. And you're gonna find all these interiors here that you can go ahead and customize to your own so that you can use them for your own book. As you can see, here are some right here that might work for this type of book. There's actually a lot of clip art right here that you can put onto your pages. And this also gives you some inspiration of how you can create this type of book if you didn't want to use these pages. But as you can see, there's actually a lot of graphics here that you could use. Now, this is another Spot the Difference book. However, this one is a full colored interior, as you can see from the back cover right here. So I did make a video on how to make this type of book. So if you wanna click somewhere around the screen or you can go to the description down below, I'll link it down there so you can watch how to create this type of interior if you're interested in making this type of book. The next niche is the Mood Tracker Journal. And we can see right off the bat that it has just about a thousand search results. It's actually 1,405 results, but that is still okay with me as long as the first number is a one, it'll pass my requirements. And so with this Titans Quick View, we can see all the other information. So this one's gonna be exact match. So we can see 25 out of 48, which basically means how many of these books are using this title in their title. And then how many books are independently published, meaning how many books are KDP books here. The average bestsellers rank, we can see it's pretty good at 339,000. The low is 355 and the high is 1.3 million. The average reviews on a book is 619 with the low being zero and the high being over 21,000. And the average price for the books in this niche is $11.74 with the low being $4.79 and the high being over $30. And we can see the niche score is 71. That's well above the 50 that I'm looking for. So this is really a good start. So let's go ahead and look at the books here and see which books are selling well. We can see this book right here. It says independently published, has a bestsellers rank of 85,000, has 72 ratings and a 4.4 overall, priced at $9.98, which is really, really good for this type of book, especially because I believe this is a little bit too high of a price. However, if it's working for this publisher, then by all means, go ahead and take that. We have this one right here, independently published, ranking at 156,000. So that's book number two. And then the book right next to it, independently published, at 211,000. So that's already three books in this first row that have a ranking of below 300,000. And so this satisfies my second step requirement, but we can see there's even more books here. This one's 101,000, 149,000. And by the way, I'm only looking at books that are independently published. I'm not looking at this book right here that is from a different brand. We're looking at books that are specifically KDP books because those books are the only books that we are trying to compete with. And so I'm disregarding everything else. And so if we see a book that looks like this, but under publisher, it doesn't say independently published. Well, I'm not taking that into consideration because we are not competing with this type of book. They have different features and different things that they can do that KDP publishers cannot do. And so I'm really just looking for books that are KDP books, like this one, for example, ranking at 30,000. This one is at 435, so that's a little bit high, but we can see there's a lot of demand for this niche. And so let's go ahead and take a look at one of these books to dive a little bit deeper into this niche. So let's take a look at this one right here. So this is a mood tracking journal, daily wellness and mental health prompt journal, diary and tracker for women. It has a book ranking of 30,000, so that's really good, $8.99, which is about the price that I would price this book. And it is sized at 6.9 inches, so a little bit smaller and at 100 pages in length. So if we look right here, this is a graph from Self Publishing Titans that tells us the book rankings of this book over time. So this is for 30 days. We can see how well it's been doing, relatively stable, but I like to look back 90 days, six months to a year to see how well this book has been selling over the past 365 days. And we can actually see it's been selling better last year than it has this year. And then if we go all time, 
we can see that when the book was published, it was selling here and there. And then somewhere around August of 2022, it started selling well and then even better. And the best time of this book was actually around February 2023 up until August 2023. It's still selling well, but not selling as well as back in 2020. And then I also like to look at A plus content, which every publisher should be using with their KDP books because it's completely free and it allows you to add a lot more information about your book that the sample just can't do because the sample has limitations on what types of pages it gives the customer when they're looking at your sample. And then the other thing that I like to do when I look at these niches is I like to look at the reviews, not specifically the five star reviews. I'm looking for anything three stars and below because this is going to tell me where I can improve upon this book if I were to get into this niche and create a similar book. So for example, this one says it's a great way to track your mood but there's not enough space to write in it. So that's something that I would take into consideration. This one says, I wish it would give prompts, but also encourages the writer to use their own words and their own expressions. Every day it is the same question. So maybe change it up instead of having the same question every day, have a different question for every single day. So this is just a little tip that you can use to make a better book than your competitor. Now, if we look at the sample, so here is the cover, very, very simple. But if we go ahead and look at the actual book, it is really just a log book. So basically a log book is a book that has repeated pages. And as we can see here is one of the interiors and you could actually make this by yourself pretty easily. Here's the second page and then it just repeats itself. And that's all it is. So if you were to go to create a Fabrica and make a search for that, I found this one right here. And the reason why I like it is because it's fully editable on Canva, which is one of my favorite programs to use. You could download this, you could upload it onto Canva and you could edit every single one of these pages, these elements to make it your own. You can change the wordings, you can change the font, you can rearrange the boxes and just kind of customize it to your liking so that it is a fully original book and not something that you'll see from everyone else. The next niche we have is the sweary nurse coloring book. And we can see that it has over a thousand results. It's actually 1026 results. So that is actually really good because it's closer to the 1000 than it is to 2000. And so that satisfies my very first step. So if we look down the page here, the very first book we can see, it says create space independent publishing platform, which is essentially the same thing as KDP. This is just an older version of KDP. So this is one that we look at as well. It has a bestsellers rank of 65,000. So that's book number one. We have this book right here, independently published with a ranking of 68,000. So that's book number two. And we have this book right here, independently published with a ranking of 120,000. So that's book number three. So this already satisfies my step two. And so I know that there is some demand in this niche and with a niche score of 52, that's above the 50 that I'm looking for. So this is telling me that there is potential for profits in this niche. So let's go ahead and look at one of these books as an example. So this book right here is titled Midnight Nurse Coloring Book. It has a ranking of 68,000, priced at $8.99, and it has 49 unique illustrations. So that's 101 pages total and your typical eight and a half by 11 inch coloring book. Before we look at the sample, let's go ahead and look at this graph. So for the past 30 days, this is how well it's been doing. Let's go back to a year and we can see it's had its ups and downs. It's done really well in this area right here, which is quarter four. It did especially well in November up until January. And then again right here. So this part right here, this is May of this year. And so I think we're gonna see a similar pattern to this right here when quarter four comes for this book. So let's go ahead and look at the sample. So this is the interior of the book. Here's one of the pages. As we can see, there are patterns in the background and then it's followed by a quote on the front. And so it's a very simple book. This is very simple to make. Let's go ahead and look at the A plus content. There's a couple more pages of the interior here, which is good to see. And the great thing about this publisher is they put more of their books right here in this module to be able to cross sell to prospective buyers. 
this is something that I recommend for all publishers to do is to use this module so that you can list your other books so that customers, when they're looking through here, maybe this is not a book that they want, but then they see right here that, oh, you have other books. Maybe this is what I want. Maybe I want a book with flowers or maybe I want this stress relief book. So this is a really great way to add additional sales. And so if you want to learn how to do this, go ahead and click somewhere around this video or I'll leave the link to the video that I made in the description box on how to create A plus content. So here is an interior from Creative Fabrica. This is 50 pages. So this is already a completed interior. And so if you wanted to go ahead and use this, you can. However, I do recommend that you either create your own interiors from these as an inspiration or make edits to these interiors so that you're not copying because you don't want to get that duplicate content email from Amazon. It is not good for your account. But Creative Fabrica is a great starting point because it does give you a lot of ideas and it gives you a lot of resources to be able to create your very own coloring book. If you wanna try out Creative Fabrica for yourself, I'll leave the link down below. Well, there you have it. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you're able to implement it into your low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new video, as well as follow me on all my socials at Jeff Set Life. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.